Good people, it's so big out here, your neighborhood friendly wig reviewer. And on this video, we are going to work on an updo that you can wear maybe if it's hot outside, maybe to a wedding or a baby shower or around the house or just because you cute and that's how it is. And to get this style, we will be using the thin part wig from Innovative Weaves and Wigs. And you can use just about any texture, but for today, I am going to be focusing on on my Jada. This is an 18 inch kinky wig, 150% density from Innovative Weaves and Wigs. And so benefits of this wig, lots of them y'all. The top is created in a way to where there's no weft. So you don't even have to leave out a bunch of hair. You just leave out a thin amount to cover the top. Kind of mimics kinda like a real root. So you don't have to worry about leaving out a whole lot of hair. Also, my favorite part is the fact that, look, y'all see how full that is? That looks like it's 600 tracks. Slight exaggeration. But oh no, because if my scalp itches, boom, my fingers can get right to it because it is super breathable. I also love the fact that it is super comfortable. It comes with five clips and a couple of combs. And then it also, what most wigs have, which is like that bra strap kind of thing to give you a little bit of more security on the back. So we are going to take this and then install it in an updo. I say updo, but really it's not that fancy in some braids. And we are going to actually keep the ones that we have right here. This is from a previous style that I was wearing and they're just two little feeder braids coming to the front with some beads at the end. And so I've got my leave out here up top. And so I'm going to part it down the center and hopefully I can get this straight, but y'all, y'all might not have noticed from my other videos, but I'm not the straightest parter. <laughs> it's all good. I think I've got this whole love-hate thing with imperfection. So here it is. That's my leave out. It's going to be ready just to split in half once I get my wig on. And so I'm going to take my thin part wig and clip her on. As usual, I have several videos on how to get her on if you are interested or need to know that information. But we are just going to take her and clip her in. Now, before I, I probably would be a little bit more picky about just how perfectly my leave out blends on top, but I really just need enough to cover a tiny bit because again, we are doing an updo. And so we are going to be wearing two braids. And so I really don't need this part flat because it's not gonna be laying like this on my head, okay? So we just do enough just to cover the top and make sure that the top does not have a hump on it because that ain't cute. Alrighty. So now that I've got that down, I'm just going to comb this down. Make sure mm, that looks, mm, looks even enough. It looks even enough for today. So we are going to comb through this hair. And now we are going to start braiding. If you cannot braid, you got to get somebody to do this for you or you can do two strand twists really tightly. And so I am just going to start act as if this hair does not exist up here, okay? Don't pull it too tightly. You're just going to do a cute little cornrow or Dutch braid. Who came up with that? It's a cornrow. And so we are just going to braid this. But you don't want it tight because we are going to kind of pull it in a way to make it puff out some more. And if it's a really tight braid, that's almost impossible to do. I personally try to get as close to my edge as possible. If you are the type that likes to pull your braid backwards, I'm not so sure this would work for you. But hey, try it my way, okay? I'm telling you, people are going to be like, why are you cute today? And you'll be like, well, I don't know, I was just on YouTube. So we down said for my hair and two braids. I know y'all was gonna be like this. So we're gonna just keep going. Now, if I didn't have these two cute little braids on the side, I would do half up, half down. But because I do have those braids on the side, I do want them to kind of stick out and be a little prominent. So I'm gonna do it all the way down. So you kind of have to feel when you're halfway between your um, unit in the back 
and just make sure the hair is split in half. I guess I could have told you guys to do that first. Sorry. Remember, your wig is so full, you don't even have to worry about the back showing any wefts or any scalp or any hair. All right. Oh, come back up a little bit. Now, I don't mind imperfection, but I can't handle bubbles like that in my braid. Much better. Okay. So once I get to the bottom, I'm just going to secure it with a um, rubber band. So guys, I'm doing this little awkward laugh thing um, <laughs> because sometimes I think really fast and I say funny things in my head and they make me laugh. But listen, I totally just flexed on y'all with the way I just braided that. I, I, don't, I don't hold my hands like that when I braid. I think it was just trying to be fancy here on YouTube. So bear with me and we're gonna do this second braid <laughs> like a sister braids. Hands back here, see what I'm saying? Back here, same braid, it's gonna go a lot faster. I literally thought to myself, why did you just braid your hair like that? You don't have to do that. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I flexed on y'all like that. All right. So here I will do the same and finish out my braid and then secure it. And guys, after I finish getting my hair braided, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take these braids that are not super tight and I am going to fluff them because that's adorable. So here we are, start at the top and you just pull them apart and make them as wide as you possibly can. And if your edges are thin like mine, then you'll probably really be feeling a bit more secure about that not just being fully exposed by a tight, tight braid. And in the back, I am going to take a couple of bobby pins and I'm going to fold the hair under and just tuck that bobby pin underneath. And I'll do this to both sides. And that, my guys, is the simplest yet cutest little hairdo. If you have bubbles in your hair, don't worry about it. Just take a bobby pin and secure it. That's it. Ooh. All right, y'all, if y'all have questions, let me know. Again, this is the Jada wig from Innovative Weaves and wigs.com. If you go shopping over there, use discount code so it out so they'll know that I sent you. If you have questions, let me know. Until next time, I'll see you later. Alligator, bye.